Hello and welcome to another video tutorial Monday. This week I wanted to show you how to make this cute little jungle scene using some penny black stamps that I just got in and I'm really excited to use them. I know this is going to be one that I use all the time. It's a grass stamp and it's from the Kling set Sweet Home and then use this cute little line also by Penny Black called His Majesty. And then I thought it would be cute to do the sentiment You're the Cat's Meow from Lawn Fawn's Critters and the Burbs. So it's kind of a cute little take on the fact that it's a lion but it's still a little kind of kitty cat. Um, so I'm going to start out by stamping my grass and I'm just planning on coloring this pretty simply in with some Copic markers. Um, so I want to stamp my grass first because I want the lion to kind of be masked off behind the grass. So I'm going to start out by inking this up with some memento black ink. Any dye ink that is water-based will work with this because that means the Copics won't um, smear it. So memento ink or um, even the Jenny Bolin inks would work really well for this. But you want to stay away from things like Stazon and things like that that are alcohol-based. Now that I have my grass down, I can go ahead and put this mask over it. And I've stamped this on a piece of masking paper. This is from Judykins called Eclipse Masking Paper and my sweet friend Marie sent this to me to give it a try. And so I'm trying to figure out if I like it or not. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, so far it seems pretty easy to work with, but it's kind of thin. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing right now. But you'll notice that I didn't cut exactly around all of it. Um, because it'd be too intricate to cut all around all of these blades. It would probably fall apart kind of easily. So any places where I feel like I need to go back and fill in with the lion, I can just go back in with a black marker. Um, but what's important is to block off everything that I want to be blocked off. If you block up a little bit extra, that's okay. So I have my mask down, and I'm going to ink up my lion stamp and then kind of stamp him over off to this direction over here. Alright, and since my little mask here masked off a little bit extra, I'm just going to go back in and freehand some of the lines that need to be in there but aren't. So I'm using my Memento Black Marker, which is the same ink that I just stamped with, only in marker form. And I'm going to go back in and just make it look natural. I'm going to color my image next. I'm going to start off by coloring in the lion because I know that that's what I'm going to do any blending on if I do any. So I'm going to start out with my E35 and go over pretty much the whole thing. And it's nice because on this stamp you can kind of look while you're coloring and see um, which part is which and you can have it for reference reference which is pretty cool. So I'm going to do all of the body parts in this E35 and then go back over um, as necessary with other colors. and go over the darker parts. So I'm going to go over this nose here. And then his legs down here. I'm going to blend in the nose a little bit here with the E35. And that's really all the blending I'm going to do on his body. Now I'm going to use the YR18 
the YR15 and Y19 to do his mane. And I might add some of the E35 in there. I don't know. We'll see as I go along. But I'm just going to um, do solid colors on each piece of his mane here. But I'm not going to do much blending. And that'll just make it easy and quick and keep it from getting too busy. Now that I have my lion's mane colored, I can go ahead and go in with my grass colors. And I'm not going to do any specific coloring in the lines here, except for in these tall pieces. Um, once I get down to the bottom though, I'm not going to worry about so much being in the lines as, as I am just getting color down in those areas. So I'm going to go in with Y25, or YG25 first, and then I also have G05. YG67, G29, and G85. And I'm just going to keep messing around with this and doing little flicking motions until it looks how I want it to. looking really close to how I want it. I'm just going to make sure I have all of these areas covered um, down here at the bottom by going over with my lightest color which is my YG25 and really work those colors together and this will give it a really like awesome variegated color. So I'm making sure all of the stamp lines are covered. I'm making sure all the area underneath the lion is colored in. <laughs> have our cute little lion sitting in the grass. Um, yeah, so that flicking technique is just really cool. You just keep it kind of parallel with the paper, and as long as you just keep a light touch, it looks great every time, and it looks like I took a lot of time and colored in the lines when I really just used five different colors and went kind of crazy, so it's really fun that way. Next, I think I'm going to keep this kind of simple, so I'm just going to stamp my sentiment straight on this piece of cardstock. Next, I think this could use a little bit of distressing around the edges, so I'm going to use some vintage photo distress ink and go all the way around the outside. I definitely think this can use a little bit more texture, so I'm going to wrap some twine around the base of the card here, around the grass, and I want the bow to be just underneath the sentiment. Now I can go ahead and tear this down with some foam dimensionals. And you know, I think I'm going to leave it like this for this week. I want it to be a very versatile card. You could definitely give this to a guy, and especially one that you're good friends with. Um, and I think it's kind of cute. It kind of has a sense of humor about it because it's definitely contrasting that cat's meow like pun with the cuteness but also fierceness of the lion. So I think it's really cute and very jungle. Um, I'm definitely going to have to do another jungle themed card soon because I'm just totally into this whole like wildlife thing right now. So yeah, here's a picture of the finished card and here's the close up. Thank you very much for watching this week and I will catch you again next week on another video tutorial Monday.